。三十五、三十六條咧就係想睇一個遺傳病嘅族譜嘅。咁啊，黑色咧就係有病啦，白色咧就係正常嘅。咁而家題目就問啦，啊咁究竟咧而家呢一款基因遺傳病咧，佢係屬於？隱性啊，定係顯性呢？咁啊，今次答案呢係分兩類型嘅。第一類呢就係 autosomal dominant 或者 autosomal recessive， 都係隱性顯性啦。不過呢個呢係個基因係喺第一對去到第二十二對嘅染色體嘅。而第二組呢，就係 X link， 就即係話嗰個基因呢係喺 X chromosome， 咁佢係隱性定係顯性呢？咁我今次呢，就有兩個思考邏輯嘅，一個呢，就係思考佢喺頭嗰廿二對嘅染色體啦，第二個思考邏輯呢，就係思考下佢喺 sex chromosome 性染色體嘅，而兩個思考邏輯呢。都係用到無中生有大法啦，記住啊，無中生有三角形，就揾返八九十四，有病有病，生個冇病嘅，咦，值得參考下。喎。八同九有病嘅，佢哋起碼有一個有病嘅等位基因，正常啦。十四號仔呢，佢係正常嘅。咁佢起碼會接收到一個正常嘅等位基因，由阿八同阿九嗰度傳俾佢，都正常啦。如果唔係，嗰正常嘅等位基因喺邊度嚟呀？係咪？咁即係話啦，阿八同阿九是但一個人就係集合型，而喺一個集合型嘅情況底下，就只有顯性嘅特性能夠顯現到出嚟。所以我哋就知道啦，有病嘅等位基因就係一個顯性嘅基因，所以答案鎖定咗係 A 或者係 B 㗎啦。咁兩場之前已經拍咗無中生有三角形嘅片，無論係答 M C 定係答長題呢已經教晒大家。長題目係四五分㗎，係可以幫你攞晒㗎。咁啊，快啲睇返段片咯！咁啊，鎖定咗答案 A、B 啦，就睇埋 X link 咯，就到第二個 C L 邏輯咯。X link 咁啊，點算呢？繼續用無中生有三個型，繼續揾八九十四嚟開刀。十四號仔佢係一個正常嘅男仔，所以從 sex linkage 嘅情況底下呢，佢一定係 X normal 另一個 Y 啦。而呢個 Y 係嚟自邊個啊？咁佢係嚟自老豆啦。咁老豆自己係一個誒、欸、有病嘅男人喎、哦，咁即係話啦，阿老豆呢，呢、這個 X c o m o s o m 呢，就應該係楞住一個 affected a l l e l 啦，咁所以呢，我哋搞掂埋阿九號仔嘅 genotype 咯，咁阿仔本身有一個 X c o m o s o m 係 carry 住一個 normal a l l e l 嘅，呢、這個就當然係由阿媽嗰度嚟啦，係咪？但係阿媽，哎呀，你又係有病嘅，咁即係阿媽都係有一個 affected a l l e l 喺個 X c o m o s o m 啦。咁即係話今次阿媽原來你係集合型喎，咁喺集合型嘅情況底下，就只有顯性嘅特性能夠顯現到出嚟。咁我知啦，原來呢 a f f e c t e d a l l e l 呢都係 dominant a l l e l on X c h r o m o s o m 所以答案就係 A 啦。等等。Question 35 and 36 refer to the pedigree below, which show the inheritance of the genetic disorder. So we can see from the pedigree. So for the black one is the affected individual, and for the blank one is the normal individual. So which of the following combination correctly show the possible types of inheritance of this disorder? So the gene can be autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive on the first to twenty second pair of chromosome. The gene can also be on the X chromosome, be dominant or recessive. So, which one is correct? So, there are two types of thinking logic. The first type assume that they are on the autosome. Remember our secret skills out of nothing triangle to choose the family eight, nine, and fourteen. First of all, eight and nine they are affected individual. They have at least one affected allele. Makes sense. And for the individual fourteen normal individual, receive at least one normal allele from either individual nine or ten. So either individuals eight or nine is heterozygous, and in the heterozygous condition, only dominant characteristic is expressed. So the affected allele is the dominant allele, and that's why option A and B can be the answer. So if you would like to do some revision on the out of nothing triangle. Watch the video before. I also teach you how can you use the out of nothing triangle to deal with the long question of genetics. And for the second thinking logic, X linkage analysis, I still use the out of nothing triangle to choose eight, nine, and fourteen. So we know that individual fourteen normal male. So possibly the genotype will be X normal and Y because X Y is a male. And he is normal, so that's why the allele on the X chromosome should be the normal allele. 
So this Y chromosome must come from father. And father, you are affected male. That means the allele on the X chromosome should be the affected allele, right? So what about the normal allele on X chromosome? It must pass from mother. So what about the other X chromosome? Which type of allele should it contain? So for mother, she is the affected individual. So therefore, on the other X chromosome, it should contain the affected allele. So, oh, all things can be done. Mother, you are the heterozygous individual. And in heterozygous condition, only dominant characteristic can be expressed. So, the affected allele is the dominant allele on X chromosome. And the answer will be A. Ta-da!